Hello everyone, welcome to a new episode on the person behind the actor and as always I am your host Michael Min and today we are going to be tackling yet another actress, you know, just like last week. We are gonna give them ladies some spotlight, you know, because they deserve it. They're amazing actresses and we have to, you know, give them the respect they deserve. So today we are going to be analyzing Park bo You most likely have seen her in the drama, which we'll also have the reenacting from, Strong Woman, Do Bok Sun. Perfect. <laughs> you know, it's a very cute drama. She and her acting is also very cutesy. So I'm very curious on how that's going to work. And, you know... Let's get started. Let's see what we can do with uh, all the information we have. So, here we go. So, as you can see here, we have the name in English, Park, which is pronounced Park, Bo Yong. Not Yang, Yong. Okay, here in Hangul, so Park Bo Yong. And now we have the Chinese characters, which we haven't seen before, so that's good. The first one, again, is Park, which is referring to, well, first the surname, which doesn't really have a meaning, but also the chi Chinese hackberry, which is a hemp tree, so we are just gonna call her, I mean, her name, <coughs> sorry, uh, a hemp tree. Then we have the bo part, which means treasure, and it looks very complicated. And the last character, yong, which means petal, or hero. However, it is also the first character in the, well, English language. You know, it's called Yong Ma. Yong is the first character. So, let's see what story we can make for her name. So, let's think of a remote place. Uh, there is this big Chinese hackberry tree, or hemp tree, and under it, there is this beautiful, big treasure, you know, flooding with money and uh, what else is there in a treasure? And around it, and on top of it a little bit, some very nice petals, maybe some cherry blossom petals, and it's all very majestic and beautiful. And if you've seen her, and I'll put a picture of her at the beginning, you will see that the specific image I just pictured for you seems to be very, very reminiscent of her, so at least that was one point on this one. So, let's see what information we have about her. So, as the previous section and the title below state, her name is Pak Boyong, and she was born on the 12th of February 1990, which makes her at the moment 30 one years old in international age and 32 in Korean age. Now, her zodiac sign is the Aquarius, which is an air sign, despite what everyone thinks when they hear Aquarius. It is not a water sign. Okay, she went to university at Tanguk University, which is a private university, and she took the major theater and film. A very good choice, my I say. Now, she has been active in the industry since 2006 until now, so I think that is around 15 years, probably. <laughs> and she is well known for a few of her movies, the first two, and uh, some dramas, the other two here. So, the first movie is A Werewolf Boy, which uh, has been filmed and, you know, appeared in 2012 and on your wedding day in 2018, which she is very famous for. And some dramas, the one that we'll have the reenacting from, Strong Woman Do Bong Su, which is very funny. And another drama that was made in 2019, Abyss. Now, she has a whole list of words, so let's see some of them. I've only picked two because the list was this long. So, you know. So the first one was awarded at the 12th Seoul International Drama Awards for the best 
Korean female actress for obviously strong woman Do Bong Soo. And another award is, was awarded at the 23rd KCA Consumer Day Awards for the best actress for the movie on your wedding day. Reenacting time! Goodbye, 안녕. Oh, 너 치마가 왜 이렇게 짧아? 어? 옷을 왜 그렇게 입어? 화장도 이렇게 보고. 왜? 나 이상해? 너무 이쁘게 다니지 마. 난리 타. 너 오늘 조심해야 돼. 무슨 일 있으면 알지? 이 버튼을 꼭 눌러. 이따가 전화할게. 가. 들어가. 먼저 가. 들어가. 아, 나 먼저 가. 얼른 가, 국두야. 고마워. Thank you guys so much for watching. It was a very interesting episode to film. I can say I particularly like her style of acting, especially the whole cutesy type, um, which I'm not sure that I'm doing very right, but that's besides the point. We have time to improve. And I can just thank you all for watching and for keeping up with our channel. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.